All right, guys, welcome back to the last game, the grand finals of Oceana's Nationals 2022. Uh, of course, I'm joined here by Gary again for the for the final best of three that we're going to see. And obviously, we've been speaking about this. A lot of people have been speaking about this. Um, an American versus a, an Australian. And you know what? Something that you might see at Worlds, something that you normally wouldn't see at a Nats in a, in a certain country, right? It's the whole reason they came over here, right? They came yep. because they thought they could top, they thought they could make this fight, and Robert has done that. He's pushed all the way through fatigue, yep. jet lag, yep. everything, you name it, and yep. he's worked hard to get all the way to the top here, yep. so he's done really well. Yep. Coming up against Alan, who's also done really well coming into the top two, Alan has taken so many people out. On the way here. Not yeah. only that, he's taken out so many Crimson. He's taken out Marcus here. as well in the top 16. Yep. That's absolutely right. He's yeah. taking out some of the best Crimson players we've seen. Absolutely. And look at what he's up against. And he said that he knows the deck inside and out, right? Mm. The Crimson deck. So he knew that what he was coming into today, he was like, I'm going to play this. And, you know, hats off to him. Mm. He's obviously played it very well. Guys, thank you for obviously tuning in and, and sticking with us. Um, we just had to kind of clear out the venue and they were giving out prizes for side events and obviously top 16 again. Um, this will hopefully be a lot uh, cleaner, like a lot less background sound, mm. but that means that we might have to be a little bit more quiet because the players that are playing will probably be able to hear our commentary and we don't really want to give away what's in each other's uh, hands from the angle that we're looking at. But again, guys, it's been, a, it's been a big day. I think we've been live for seven hours. We'll probably be going past eight after this. Mm. So we hope you enjoyed. <laughs> Thank you so much for everyone that's uh, followed the channel. We, we're going to hopefully continue to commentate events going forward. Mm -hmm. um, and you'll be able to find all the VODs on our YouTube channel if you've missed any from today um, or if you just want to watch them over again because I think this is going to be a cracker. Uh, oh, absolutely. So we'll have all the videos from day one as well. Yeah, yeah. We do, have, we do have day uh, one VODs. Unfortunately, we couldn't get the internet working, mm. but they won't be with commentary. So I'll try to put up whatever I can on the, on the YouTube, um, but I'm sure people are probably going to want to see this with all the commentary that it is on there. And yeah. Absolutely. Well, we've got um, two judges at the table. Uh, we had a little before, obviously, players get to see the other decks. Robert going through wouldn't really be too aware of exactly what Cooler does, might have a vague understanding, but similar to what other Crimson players have come up against going, what is this deck? Yeah. How has it earned the respect and made it all the way up to the top two? And, and it's something that he's obviously going to run into now. He's going to need to respect the fact that it, it's done really well. Yeah. It's beaten this deck before. How? And that's what he needs to try and get his head around. Yeah. So. Yeah. And that's and that's the thing too, right? Like we're just about to get into. They're obviously looking at each other's decks. Mm -hmm. This is where the advantage came from. We we said it with the mm -hmm. previous game when he was versing Jack, who also was a Crimson player. Um, it went into a point of you know, um, Alan knows what the Crimson deck does, mm -hmm. but the players that are coming against Alan's deck because it's cool and it's something that you don't normally see. Uh, they, they are in for a shock. Yeah, they don't know what cool it is. But they get to see the deck and they have to actually read through the cards and mm. what the cards do and what their deck looks like and, and so on and so forth. So. Even a deck rarely seen at Locals. Like, for a few sets now. Honestly, I don't think I've seen it for mm. a couple months. Um, and he's decided to make the meta call and he's done well with it. Absolutely. So, obviously, you know, props to him. Um... I, I, he played absolutely fantastic in the in the round that we mm -hmm. obviously got to view, which was last round, mm -hmm. uh, to make it to top two. And big shout out um, to Alan as well because his brother David Lou mm. made it to Worlds last year. Yes, yes. Um, for Australia, so the brothers are going could, hopefully could it back be to back. Could it be a family business? Well, I mean, why not? Right when you've got when you've possibly got two of the best players from Australia it's in the same household. Hundred percent. Results, right? Imagine screaming all day, every day, and your brother was, went to Worlds last year, and mm. you can now go there this year. 2022, you've got bragging rights. Well, but he has to get there first. We're about to find out. Keen. We are getting into... Very keen. I think... Last match, we, we said it was the highlight of the day. It was. This, this could top it very easily. I think, uh, I think David placed higher in this in top 16 so i believe he may have a priority to go first in this we're going to find out um and see it'd be a huge advantage yeah now did he just do his mulligan and take zero it may look like a hard mulligan here
Now, let us know in the chat how the volume is. We are going to have to be really quiet here because all of the noise in the room has gone right down. So they are going to be able to hear us if we're too loud. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we'll try, obviously, our best to, I guess, give you guys enough of a commentary based on, you know, how, how we can, but to make sure that we obviously don't give any information away for anyone else mm -hmm. too. So People we'll like try our best. Whispering into microphones. Is that a thing now? Uh, ASMR is, has always been a thing. Um, I don't know if we want to do it in the Dragon Ball card game, but you never we know. could be onto something. Uh, card chat. game ASMR. Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us if you enjoy the ASMR content, guys, and we might continue on with it. Oh, okay. So Robert, Robert was Jones. placed higher. He, I think he came like 13, so Alan must have been lower placed than that, um, which, is, which is what it is, and we've got a turn one ball that's coming on the field. Why not? Replace your hand. Mm. And for those that obviously can't see uh, Alan's leader, it is Cooler, the Unison Cooler uh, from, I think it was Ultimate Squad, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it's just at the glare. He's sitting literally right underneath a downlight, so this is it's not fantastic. But The one drop that's actually a count. Mm, being played in the Unison area, yeah. Looks like he's also charged one. Mm. So... A so he didn't actually swing. He just played. He didn't even swing with his leader. Um, Doesn't want to give that hand a bang. I think that's how he plays around this deck. Mm, it's, mm, well, why give you cards mm, when I know you can burn them yourself? You want to see wants... more cards, right? And you want to activate battle. And then when you activate battle, you get such an advantage because you get to put a Saiyan in the drop. Let your opponent burn all those mm, resources. Combos. Yeah. yeah. You know, they're going to need to use them. Ooh. This is the first Trunks we've seen play. This is the first Trunks we've seen. Looks like it's the first Trunks Allen scene too. Calamity. Opting to Freezer. And that's the beauty of the Unison deck, right? The charismatic villain pretty much comes online from turn one. Mm. Play a unison for one, you tick it up, and then charismatic's online. Still has two saints in the drop. Mm. Still probably in a position you want to be in if you're Robert, right? You've got you've got the two saints in drop, you're still at seven life, your hand size is pretty fine. I, I think Ellen is he wants to get that counterplay off the first card. He wants to, if it's Niccolo, if it's Trunks, whatever's coming out, mm, he wants to remove that mm, threat to make mm, sure that he can mm, not have that pressure come. Interesting. I mean, obviously, he opted to counterplay the uh, Trunks, knowing that he wasn't going to be able to play the Piccolo because he's now tapped out one. Ooh, this is the first cooler we've seen come down. So talk to us about this. Oh. Talk to us about this one, Gary. You obviously mentioned it in the in the energy before. I'm pretty sure this is one that searches out all of his units and pieces, mm -hmm. so it adds a one. Mm -hmm. Got the Let's Dance Unison coming to hand. <laughs> it's going to continue to tick up. It's going to tap one. Is he going to play another Unison? Now with the Empower 3, of course, it's going to get... Um, uh, an extra marker that, that couldn't be there before. Oh, let's see what this one actually does. Mm. Looks like it's, it's going to be a search. It's a search. Yeah, nice. it's a search. Yeah. Searching out the searcher. Mm -hmm. Very nice. He's just reading it now too. Not, I mean, you come up against this deck, you don't really know what it does. Um, so it might be a bit of a learning curve where you're just constantly just reading cards because you're kind of like, oh, I've never really seen this before. Yeah, just okay. opting to pass here. Yep. Still two Saiyans. Still two Saiyans in the in the. Uh, 
Right, yeah, and I feel like you'll see a Piccolo play here, right? Oh, never mind. Straight into Unison. So he wants that hand advantage, and I think that's the difference of last game that we watched. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is where the Gohan the Gohan Ray. The green one. Taking three markers off it. Because that's the thing, you don't really want to swing into this unison. The reason why it's 19k. Um, and it just gains two markers every turn you tick up and it and it draws a card. So it's so crucial to have that. Um But it will be interesting to see. I know we know Alan is obviously running the Gohan. The question is Does he feel like it's worth tapping one to get rid of three markers in this situation? Because you kinda of have to plan to get rid of it. You can't just remove three markers because next turn it'll just join gain two again. So we'll, we'll find out. Even better if you can play the Piccolo into it for dual attack. So mm. discard as well. Mm. Charismatic. Also turn. opting straight into that unison. Mm -hmm. yeah, we kind of spoke about this where the unisons are not really interactable. Obviously they are one drop so Smoke Dragon does hit them but once you get into that three drop cooler, uh, freezer, golden freezer, uh, very difficult to, uh, to let that go. Three Saiyans in the drop, mm -hmm. uh, no Z cards for for uh, Robert. Um, Alan obviously has the Charismatic, and he's got two calls on field now that I'm sure he'll start comboing off and then putting it into his Z deck as well. Unison into you. Mm. And here is it. Go home? Yes. Mm. So down to one marker on the Tapion Unison, uh, obviously Alan identifying mm. that this is something that he needs to deal with. You, you kind of won his third game last round by controlling the hand of Jack and knowing that Tapion... Yeah, obviously opting to do the, the same sort of strategy again, and that's what he was saying. He knows how to play around this deck. He knows once they get the hand advantage. Mm -hmm. That's crucial. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. And then he's just stacking up his energy here, right? He's got three now. Um, something that we kind of didn't see either player do much of last game. Um, I feel like it's much more blue favored to get Z energy than it is green. Obviously, Beerus comes online. The Vegeta comes online. Um, so, yeah. There we go, tap two for the Piccolo. Question is, is there a Charismatic? Uh, I think this is where David's been really good. He's going, you know what? Tell me what you're going to do. Mm. You play the pan? That's fine, I'll get rid of the Piccolo. Because if he plays that Freezer now, you mm. no chance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, going to be interesting to see. I think it's one of those things where Robert's going to want the draw, especially given the hand size. But he also knows the risk. Yeah. And we all know by now, we've all seen Crimson, Piccolo is such a threat. He's going for the pan. I mean, he didn't Charismatic, so why would you barrier? And there's the freezer. Never mind. Thank you, Window 2. Mmm. 
Interesting. We're going to draw off the pan, and then Yezo is going to choose the Piccolo. Still four Saiyans in drop, but he can combo that pan off if he wanted to, and then start. He's already on four energy. He's done a really good job defending the fights this game. Mm. Seven energy versus six. Uh, a lot slower. We got four energy already. The, you can see the Bardock in the energy as well. Leader swinging into the cooler battle card. Mm. There's the next Saiyan. That Videl can have so much value, whether it's in your drop to awaken your leader, or yep. if it's in your hand. Well, I mean, when you put it under your leader, she then gets a 5k combo if it's the first card, and he's got three. three. So putting three of those underneath and just being able to use once, three times. Three times. Yep. But you always want to leave three so you can untap an energy as well, right? So you'll be able to do it, let's say, twice once. I think for two, I think he wants to Is that? Ah, uh, smoke. He's yeah. going to get rid of the... So, Smoke's going to get rid of the unison, yeah. Here's the thing, like, obviously, Alan's deck is very, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, very focused on having a unison in play, mm -hmm. and Smoke, obviously, is the complete opposite, but being able to get your opponent to tap two to play smoke to get rid of your unison and then you can play another one on your turn from the leader and then like you know tick it up or even for one energy it's definitely value it's, it's not the biggest loss in my opinion you, you just stopped a big threat from coming down mm. Four energy up. He actually charged the dormant, and he's going to swing with with leader here. Something that um, Alan really does because he doesn't want to feed that advantage. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He's kind of he feeling wants that, out. He wants that draw. Yeah, he's he's kind of swinging first at most times to kind of mm -hmm. test the waters, right, of what of what his opponents are going to do. And there he goes. He's going to activate the battle. He's going to mm -hmm. put a bardock in there. Um, he's going to draw one, grab a life. Still trying to get to that four sweet spot. And I mean, it's easy to do with this leader, right? Okay, he's going to tap one for another unison now. And three, three for the golden? Yeah, yeah, yeah as you do. Nice. So now he's on six markers. He's going to be able to get rid of that. Monkey gone. Draw from the leader into another unison and the question is how much pressure do you want to put on so obviously robert is tapped out uh i don't, I don't think he's swinging with the triple you don't reckon no judging from how he's played it previously oh he's doing it you me? i'm wrong I don't care. the only reason why i said the only reason why i thought he was going to do that oh no no i think he's ticked up can you tick up with that unison sparking dmag wow I was going to say, the reason why you might want to put some pressure, um, yeah, so he did, obviously, um, go, th the reason why you want to put pressure is because your opponent's, one, tapped out, two, hasn't awakened yet. So if you can put on the pressure um, and do some good damage, uh, and then either force them to awaken on your turn, is probably more important than anything else. Mm. Oh yeah, Robert just opting to go for the activate battle, put another Saiyan in the, in the drop. He's, he's not going to want to go down to one. Nah, he's going to tap. Yeah. Unbreakable. No 
awakening. Mm. I think I think this is more of a win for Alan than it is for Robert, right? I know he gets to draw three here, but he's probably like this is probably uh Alan's last swing. I don't think he was gonna swing again, so you don't really need two energy untapped. Um it does give that information. He wasn't comfortable comboing most of his hand mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. protect that life. Mm -hmm. And on the top three he's obviously drawn the super combo, which he didn't have before. Undoubtedly. And now he's gonna now he's gonna have to use it, right? So we're at thirty five. I think he still needs another five. I believe Alan's at 35. Gains the 10 mm. And then he's got the freezer that he comboed with on the field as well. So, mm -hmm. so up to 35. Mm -hmm. Currently got 25 to 35. Yeah. Yep. Probably deciding, does he want to get... He might actually take the Videl from underneath, which yeah. exactly what he's going to do. Yeah. I mean, he doesn't... He doesn't have to. He can actually get rid of a Z... Uh, Card. Oh, he's going for the three. Uh, Robert knows his deck. He doesn't know what's going on. Uh, uh, yeah, knows. he obviously knows what he's doing. I'm just a little bit confused on what's going on here because I, I, I kind of feel like that is literally uh, Alan's last swing. I, I wouldn't assume he plays anything else. Um, gonna put that into Z. He's gonna put that one into the drop. And then he plays the Gohan. Recent. Gohan rare from blue. Yeah. yeah. So for three, he got to play it on there now, and then he's got a threat instead. So he didn't really care about the fact that he knew, like, he knew that there was going to be no more swings, mm -hmm. and he could use that three energy to now play the Gohan on his turn. Maximum. Is that, it's a um, double, triple strike? Triple. <clears throat> Homicidal. Mm. Mm. There you go, over realm. I'm just gonna get rid of the, the token blocker. Yep, and well, Alan right. Alan's tapped out. I don't know, like a scary point for him to be here. Um gonna lose a marker from blocking that. And then yeah, here comes a triple strike. And Unison's gonna be gone. Yeah. As you do. Draw one from the Unison leaving the area. Nice. Good attack. Yeah. Yeah, triple attack, not triple strike. Five inch is huge. Robert has not used any energy this turn, and then he can use his leader swing to untap one after he's actually used one. So. You wouldn't be surprised just as you, you like Kamehameha to get maximum use. Is this where you feel bad because you charged the dormant? That was the last charge. Definitely. Dormant would be amazing here. Dormant would be amazing here. Yeah. Um, I mean, considering that the Gohan came down, I know you didn't know that the Gohan was probably going to come down, but you now have no unison, so you have to pay for Dormant. Um, and yeah, Pan's going to... He's going to use the UI Goku for the Pan swing. And he's taking it. Mm-hmm. Man, he's in Vegeta range. That's a scary thought. Mm -hmm. He's got two Z energy, right? With a massive hand. The five energy. The only thing is, he does go Vegeta because he's tapped out. He could go the Beerus route here. There is nothing wrong with going the Beerus oh, route here. Perhaps. He's tapped out. We got the three taps. Yep. Buffing There's the a five K. Yep.
take him. Mm-hmm. And five energy. He can. He's got like so many lines of play right here. Does that tape him need a uh, unison play? Get a play out cheap. Uh, I think it combines with something, isn't it? Like a spirit boost or something like that. I can't really remember. I think yeah, we've I've only seen, seen it like sure once. Yeah. But yeah, he's gonna try and start. I can't really see Alan's hand now. I can't really see how many cards he's got. Um, Definitely about ten cards. He does have a homicidal. You'll take it. Oh, this is not looking good. Robert still has uh, four energy. You can't use leader effect to untap an energy though. Ah, Piccolo jewel attack. Wow. Charismatic on online. There's no unison in play. Mm -hmm. Get the extra. Mm, he's looking to see how many pans he's obviously used because as soon as you go look through the through the uh, the deck, you've made your choice. Mm -hmm. Nice. This has got one. Yeah, he's got, nice, two, got back two. back. Yeah. In a pinch, in a very tough spot here for Alan. I think the Gohan uh, play was super that was unexpected, and I think that's why Alan couldn't really uh, deal with it. And I don't think he's going to be charging a dormant going forward if he's got it, if only if he has another one in hand. Look how many swings he's had this turn, and he had the he had the unison in play at the very beginning of the turn. He swung with Dark Broly, Piccolo twice, Gohan three times, now coming with a thirty and leader. Yeah, gonna hurt you, man. Looking at the looking at the dormant in your energy. I don't think we've seen out of all the crimson plays that we've seen today aggressively using mm. the untap from underneath lead mm. uh to to actually play another aggressive card and then like being able to go from there absolutely so that definitely completely no, knows off. the deck knows the deck mm. you know knew that alan wouldn't be able to swing again um and just went for like the i'll tap three and play gohan on my own turn because you've got nothing left His hand is fine for whatever's coming at him, even if on somehow. Yeah, so it takes he's through. taken it. He's taken his down to one. <sighs> I'm terrible. Well, what do you what what do you have here? I think he's contemplating. And the pickle is going to swing again, and Alan shaking his head saying no negates. And then here we go, thirty. Uh, we the fastest crimson win that we've seen on stream today. Thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty. Yeah. Thirty, thirty-five. Yeah. Forty, fifty. Yeah. I can't tell. Uh, he does have one super combo there. Okay. Super combo awake. Yeah, is has Alan awakened yet? I, obviously, the glare, the, the, the glare doesn't really help, but I don't, I don't know if he actually has awakened yet. And if he hasn't, he's chosen. Oh, he's. He, I have to remember when he awakened last turn. I think he has awakened. I'd be, I'd be shocked if he didn't. Because he played the um, Golden Free. Mm. 
Yeah, nice. I think that's the unawakened side of his leader. That'll be, that'll be clutch if it is. So what was the other game? Up against 50. Currently at. Yeah, he's at 30 maybe if he hasn't awakened. He still needs 25 if he's going to get through here. And then he needs to figure out how he's going to like figure out his hand size. There you go, that's another super combo. That's the uh, alt art one. So 40. We're looking at 40 here, I think. Alan really trying hard here not to awaken because if he's if he can manage to pull that off, he may actually turn this game around in his favor. So Rob can't use his leader to untap an, an energy, but his drop has three cards. He'll be putting at least three combo pieces in there to uh, allow sparking, uh, which will allow him to have two energy for the for the onslaught that Alan is going to have. Maybe I'll be able to make it at least be one of the Alan can survive this. <sighs> He drew Homicidal into Champa, both dead cards in his hand right now because of the energy situation and the life. Uh, he's still on 40 though. He still needs another 15. Uh, is it cool as Awakened side that you get to ditch a unison to get 5k or is that on both sides? Only on the Awakened side? This could be, this could be a bit of a roughy. We can see the leader there. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it's definitely not awakened now that the glare is obviously off that um, shadow of the cat. Ooh. <coughs> if he can survive this and get the logo mm, out, mm, and he can mm, fade rivals, and then size. yeah, yeah, I think he's actually not in a bad spot. Out. Not in a bad spot because then he, un he un untaps board. one, and then he's got two available still. He can use leader swing. Um, and clear and here we go, the there board. he goes, 15. Oh, he had to use a Faded Rival. The question is, does he have another one? He does have five cards in his Z Energy. He might not need a Faded Rival, but you need the, you need the Goku Faded Rivals to play the Piccolo. Going into five. Mm. <sighs> to think a lot of this could have been stopped with Dormant. And yeah, Homicidal, you don't need Homicidal here. Yeah. I mean, you either win on this turn or you lose next turn. Correct. The question is, how are you going to get out of this? You know, he obviously had to let go of so many cards that survive and not awaken. It's going to be a question mark of how much can he do now with what he's got. Three super combos gone. Unison comes in. Awakening. Maximize value. Well, that's two markers. Now you can empower if you if you can. Go for the lead. He's going to go for. No gold. He's going to go this route here. It's going to empower. He's going to go to four markers, uh, and he's going to be able to discard mm -hmm. a card from Rob's hand. Nice ability. Yep. Discard. Mm -hmm. And it's a 5k combo at the end of the day. A 15k at his lead. He still does have a Videl underneath that's going to give him a free 5k if he really wanted it. And Rob's going to take it. Question is, what does he pull? Oh, he's Goku Black. I can't. Is that Dimension Magic in his hand? He definitely has. Do I The two Dimension Magics? Interesting how he. Took that one then. Guess you only need one any in anyway, right? Oh, sparking Oh, he can't spark him yet. Oh, he can now. He had to he had to actually put that trunks into the drop to spark him. He only had four. Now he's got five. And yeah, he's gonna use the Vidal to get five K. And yeah, that's gonna get him out of that swing. And now he's got sparking online. Tap three, golden cooler. He's in range. No, no. I mean, you have to take that risk sometimes. Yeah. We'll bring down to double shot. This back. It's true. Right down to the.
Mm. He did pull the Champa earlier on that Robert doesn't know that he's actually got in his hand. There's the D-Mag. Now everything is lethal. Mm-hmm. But you're sitting on two energy and one needs to be for Champa. Jiren. Well. Oh, does he have that? Does he have Dark Brawler in his hand? Okay. If he can bait it out. Yeah, and now he gets on that one for free. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. I mean, you can't, you can't not. Yeah, you have to. That's it. Freezer's just going to untap at the end of the turn and block. If we even get to that stage. The question is, what do you do here? Robert's got... Is that three cards? Five, five, five. Go through the energy. This is it. What do you play here? What do you play for one that's going to get you over the line? The Goku. This is like make or break here, right? Like you play the wrong card you wrong and you and you're gone. Five cards and he's got three energy untapped. Oh man. Yep, yeah, he's committed. A two Jiren, it does have double strike. So he doesn't need to put the charm prone onto it. But now the thing is, Robert can actually see this double strike coming. Let me change your... Does it get combo power as well? Yeah, he's removed two. Does it get 10k double strike or something? 25 now. 25 double. Bring it in. Oh, he's saying no negates, but he does have Beerus Ball. And I believe Jiren doesn't have Barrier. I believe it's deflect. Does Jiren have another? Can it be removed by skills? So Jiren's looking at what? 25, 35, 45? Yeah. So 45 on Jiren. Going into a 15k. Beerus Ball will make another 10k. Draws one. But if we're looking at what we saw in Robert's hand, 25 with the Beerus Ball, 30 on the Goku Black, he still needs 20k. Mm-hmm. Does he have it? If he if he pulls a super combo out from the Beerus Ball, it's going to be absolutely filthy. He pulls an 35, extra card. 35. If if he pulls an extra card, it's almost like done for. Thirty-five. Yep, we draw one. What's that? 
Was that a bait? Was that a beam? What is that? Is that Garana's here? Wait, what? What just happened? What just happened? But one of the places moved to the side. Oh, uh, Alan has been moved to the side. It looks like we're just he's just speaking to a judge about what's going on here. Jiren does Jiren need to declare the auto of the card? I don't have it on me unfortunately. Yeah, I don't have a They're just questioning it now, it sounds like. We're going to see and find out. Obviously, the Jiren obviously can be removed because it is a two cost, but when it's when it uses the Z card, I think it has to declare for itself, and I, he might not have declared it. It's kind of like the Kai double strike. If you don't declare that you're giving double strike to the attacking card, it can it can be ruled that you that you didn't declare you didn't it. Choose the yeah, card. yeah, yeah. I think that that's be, that I such a think that way. might be what they're choose discussing, the and he would have won. He would have won if he declared it, and I think that's what he's the judge is pulling up for. But we're we're about to find out what happens here. Stay tuned. Controversy in Australia. This is not the way you want to go for game one. If you, you have him on the ropes and he's comboing out and he's tapped out, you know that he's got nothing else. And here we go. Alan is coming back to the table. The resolution. This is also play at the height. Yeah. He scooped. Didn't declare the hero. Um, but Ritzy said he had enough combo. Game on so, looks like Alan didn't declare the auto on the Jiren, but uh, Robert said wow. he had enough combo power to out combo regardless. That would have gone his way. These are the fine details when you're playing at the highest level, not wanting to miss out on uh, technicalities. The hard thing now, especially after something like that, just to mentally reset, mm -hmm. and that's going to be the biggest challenge. You're mm -hmm. already nervous. You're enough. already one step like into the into the finals, yeah. and now you've just kind of like hit this. I know, I know they're saying that Rob had enough combo power to get out of that, and I know he showed the ape twice, but he only had two. He yeah, only had he only had two uh, energy up, and he used a beerus ball, and then he used one ape. That was twenty k. Mm -hmm. He didn't have four five k's in his hand. Yeah, I don't know. That, he had two Goku um, blacks. I don't know that he would. I don't, I don't think he had the combo power to get out of that. I know he showed the apes, but you couldn't combo the third ape. Watch that. Uh, like, not much we can do now. At the end of the day, he still didn't declare it, so it's got nothing to do with the, with the combo and how the power was, but I don't know if he actually had that. Wow. We go into game two. Now players getting the opportunity to actually side and really prepare for the decks that they're versed. Mm. Robert's obviously now seen exactly what Caller can do. <sighs> well, to be honest, he's seen a portion of what Caller can do. Because yeah. he didn't really get into much. Yeah. I mean, this is where it gets super gross, right? Alan played to the point where he saved his awakening. Mm -hmm. He had three super combos. He brought himself back into the game. He used the Jiren. He did everything that he could and still lost because of autos. I genuinely, I would love to watch that back. I genuinely don't think that Robert had enough in his hand to get out of that swing because of the two energy that he had tapped. Um, but I would, that's something that I would have to go back and have a look at. But yeah, showing that he had two apes and then the Beerus Ball when you had two energy doesn't mean anything. That was a dead card in your hand. And you can't that was a dead card in your hand. I, I, I think he actually had him on combo power. And you have to, you have to genuinely... Forget that that game just happened. I was going to have to work really hard to treat gaming. 
you come into this game acting like it's a best of one. Mm-hmm. You just have to think if you lose, you go home here. And that's how Alan's got to come in. And that's how we played it all yesterday. We went through all of, all of um, Swiss playing as a best of one. And that's what you're doing here now. You're not doing anything different. One game at a time. confirming the same number of cards inside deck is going to get underway with game mm-hmm, two very mm-hmm, soon mm-hmm. assuming alan opts to go first mm. i don't see any situation where he and he knows what this crimson deck does actually funnily enough mm. in all of alan's top eight matches when he's versus crimson He's lost game one, mm-hmm. and then he's put the he's, he's put the jets on, and he's three. he's given us an absolute masterclass in game two. Always looked confident, never looked never looked down. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's going to be very interesting to see how he how he adjusts to being down one one game. I mean, even then, right? If we're if we're talking about that point there, like. Robert didn't even need to use the Beerus Ball because the Goku Black would have popped it if he didn't declare the auto in the first place, Correct. right? And then Correct. he would have had like 20k combo power in his hand with the Ape XYZ. The whole reason he didn't was because... Yeah, that's right. He played the Goku Black and he, uh, he assumed that the auto wouldn't have triggered it. And then obviously realized that the auto wasn't declared and then the Beerus Ball popped it instead. Ah, oh, man. Yeah. Oh, she wanted an excitement. <laughs> mm. I mean, yeah, it's fine. If he had like three five Ks in his hand, mm-hmm. and he had the, he had the Goku Black on board already, that's still fifty five. Like he got out of it. Um, he had five cards in hand. I know he showed the eight. So as long as the other three cards were five Ks, he was fine. So doesn't matter. He should, yeah. It's game number two anyway. We're mm-hmm. not going to dive into it deeper. And obviously, Alan's going to go first. Um, going to opt to play the Gohan in energy this time. Um, may not have the unison to go. Huh? Oh, you know what? I think he's actually going to opt to use the negate unison. Mm. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, the negate unison. That sets him up really comfortably. He's got a nice reason now, ready for it. Mm-hmm. And also, Robert can't activate battle. Mm-hmm. So it stops him from getting an extra card in the drop, mm-hmm. taking his own life and drawing one and getting a Saiyan. Knows how to slow this down. Yeah. Just really focusing on like the optimal level of play. And there you go. He's going to swing with Pan. Gets rid of it. Um, and then, yeah. I think it's a big lot. Will the unison? Yeah. I don't believe so either. Nice. Against a pan. Yeah, why not? I mean... You get, you get the auto off, and you're removing... It's going to put a Saiyan in drop. It is going to put a Saiyan in drop. But... You're not giving him the life advantage, right? Correct. And at least by swinging, he gets something out. Draw from his life. Mm-hmm. He gets draw from his death. Mm-hmm. You want to know how much hand advantage. Mm-hmm. And opting to pay one. Mm-hmm. For Mm. Still, you know, to to bring cooler unison leader this far, oh. uh, absolute hats off to him. Um, I'm building this deck. I think a lot of people might be going forward from no here. I think a lot of people might be going from here. Don't blame him. Please consider over the freezer. Mm-hmm. He will be able to choose what he can drop, but obviously, that's hard to put. 
It's a nice draw. It is a nice draw. That's two good that have been seen. One's an energy. Mm. One energy draw. Unbreakable comes in another scene in the drop, gets out of a swing. I'm ready in the energy as well. Mm. Like the king clutch mm -hmm. so much. Mm -hmm. game. He's going to activate battle, put a scene in, draw a life, draw a card. Mm. But the counter battle card attack, Peela. One cross removed. Rob it, yeah. We'll be able to get the triple strike away from the cooler if he decides to play against it. It's kind of battle card attack. Ah, uh, battle card. From it. Yeah. It's very interesting to see the um, or the uh, the rivals, the rival stuff. Freezer, whatever. You're calling it cooler. I don't know why I keep calling it cooler. It really should have been. I've been calling Cooler way too often. Hmm. So you're freezer. Your content. Yeah, Lucha. Oh, there we go. Speaking of freezers. <laughs> He's going to go to six. Is it seven? Yeah. Oh, I'm watching this. I'm just passing. Mm. <laughs> yeah, tap two for the pickle on. I mean, he can he can carry his manicure if he if he wants to. He's got barrier. He put barrier onto it. Four Saiyans in the drop, he's going to combo the Black Broly. Gets no combo value at all anyway, but he wants that Saiyan in the drop, and now he can awaken if he wants to. Well, this before the Crimson play is learning. Mm. If they go for that draw, there's a chance it's going to mm -hmm. mm. Can't wait for the uh, controversy at Oznat's posts that are, that are going to come tonight. Oh, welcome, Helbert. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Unless someone's already making a video of it now, I can't wait to go home and make a make a ten minute video on the channel. Oh my god, controversy at Nats, you won't believe it. Click here to watch, must see. Coming soon to double click. <laughs> We're gonna be so behind, there's probably gonna be like things about it like before we even get on the plane. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't be wouldn't be a streamed event without controversy. Wouldn't even be an event without controversy, let's be honest. That's what it's all about, right? That's what it's all about, baby. If Robert does take this out, he doesn't have far to travel. <laughs> Rogers is around the corner. Yeah. It's going to be in the US this year, is it? Next year, yeah, in March. There you go. Vegas trip, baby. You're right at home. Vegas trip, baby. Then you make, then you make this trip worthwhile. Oof. Getting it, getting a chance at Worlds, yeah, absolutely. Pretty Cleaning amazing. up all the metal cards from Top 16 that yeah. people have sold you just for, just for the sake of your being here. On top of Ultimate Brain, right? Oh, absolutely. That's not a bad trip. Mm-hmm. And you get to see some kangaroos. <laughs> he's brought uh, Alan down to four, and now he's actually played the Tappy on Unison, which is going to be able to tick up um, and draw him a card. So now the constant card draw is coming back now. Having a look. Seven life. And look at that hand size. It's so healthy. Mm. I mean, not healthy for the game, but... Healthy for one player only. Absolutely. Where Ellen's probably got some pressure to drop that down. Mm. It's a risk of obviously feeding the hand, but the only plus right now is he has a super cool switch on. Yeah. Does he earn the plus? Yeah. You can't sparking 
but he can always use the three from underneath his leader to uh, bring an energy back, right? And then constantly continue from there. Seeing Alan pull things out of his head. But I feel like right now, he needs a summon. He needs something like that. He does need like a big play here in his turn four, right? Or not so big. He'll evolve. Mm, choosing the freezer. I'll get that one right, the freezer. You just got the discard freezer unison from from the cooler. And awakening. Hmm. That's the thing, right? If you have nothing else that you want to like use the energy yeah. for, you might as well. And he's gonna swing into the tapping on the unison. It's the best chance to get rid of it. his draw engine. Mm -hmm. I mean, he can't spark him. He can't set up his drop area. Unless he... Problem is, it's just sitting on five markers. He's going to have to put pressure with... Mm -hmm. Then with the cool one. Super combo in too. He's just searching here as well. Oh, there you go. It's huge. Sorry. He found the Gohan. Give me an answer, please. He found it, he found it, yeah. The Gohan now will be able to remove an extra three markers from it if he decides to combo it and then tap one. Which if your plan is to remove the unison altogether, that's probably what you want to do here. I, I think he doesn't go with the Gohan. Okay. Swings into it. Mm. Because then it removes four markers after the swing. Correct. Get the guaranteed the mm. He's just figuring out how much he wants to combo into it, yeah. He's already at 25 into the unison. So it is going to go through and deal a, a token, uh, a marker. Thirty. Mm, I mean, you've kind of already comboed it, right? You've put that in the combo area. Yeah, he's literally saying that to him too. Weird to... Yeah. Down to one. Mm. Nice. Cell max, nice. Can't swing with it because he's got four energy, right? Or is it your opponent has to have? No, he can't. Okay, I thought so. But it looks like he's going to try and push him down to four. Or he can get yep. Barking, yep. He does have the leader untap. But if you do, you really want to use leader untap here because how is that going to benefit you getting out of the forty k swing? Mm -hmm. Actually, yeah. it probably will because I was about to say if he has the Videl in there, which he yeah. does, there's a 5k, plus you get 10k in total from the Z energy, so that's already 30k. Is he removing the Videl? No. They're saving the Videls for a rainy. Mm. Rain one. Taking the damage. Now, this is important. He, he's still going to go for it. He has to. He's got D mags in his hand as well, mm -hmm. so it's not like he's in a tough spot, right? You, oh, he's minusing things. on the freezer. Yeah, for the dual triple. There's one D mag, yeah. And then he's got the dormant room. And he's so got two energy on tap. He's still lockdown. got two energy on tap. He's the clone mm -hmm. even better. He's figuring out how much combo he wants to put on here. He's if he does in the game. He's got the freezer charismatic, he can run straight with. Mm -hmm. So Rob does have a bean. There's another D mag. I, don't have to. I feel like it's safer to do so. You don't want to play the combo game. It's just you've got the yeah, energy untapped already, right? Well, he's got the beans. He can untap me. 
Yeah, he's gonna go. Yep, yeah. yeah. I, think, I think that's a smart. You don't wanna end up losing because mm. you win. I'll risk it. Mm. Mm. That PLF will come and close. Oh. Yeah, going forward, it depends if Alan no well, he wouldn't really have an idea of how he if he slided in, right? Um I'm pretty sure he's got another goal. No golden core? Oh don't think he is. <laughs> Yucks, I've been saying it wrong this whole time. Chat calling for Golden King Cold. <laughs> I'm for the tap and use. Mm, straight back to five markers. Interesting. Charismatic. Trying to remove. Oh, Piccolo. Mm. Mm. Does he have Charismatic in his hand? Maybe he has. Maybe he's. Hoping for something like he's expecting something else, maybe. Only the lead. Shock. It's a dog. He's about to block. I'm going to gain. He has. Are you sure he's got Dolan in hand? He hasn't got push. The scary, th uh, the scary thing here is that he hasn't, he doesn't know if Robert's got his SCR in his hand. Mm -hmm. So, like, if you're anticipating that it could be a, a Gohan because you've got two untapped, sure, it wipes the cell max off the board as well, and you do damage to each other, X, Y, Z, whatever, whatever. Is Why would you risk boost? it? Spirit boost to use the cell max. Yeah, and as Cell Max leaves the board, he's going to burn a life. Burns a beam. Actually, not bad. I mean, Cell Max's job is done, mm -hmm. right? He's now taken him down to three. He's Cell Max for one more life. He's just lost. We'll attack people. Mm. Mm. It's pretty close. Hmm. Didn't get to swing with it either and put some pressure on, right? Yeah. There you go, there's a dormant here. Is he really going to activate it now? He sees the two energy untapped and he's a bit worried about what's coming next. I don't blame him. He mustn't have had it before then. He, he did have it before and he just didn't want to play it. I think he probably looked and went. Thought that worried. it don't need it, yeah. yeah. Is he just maybe using it for a negate? Maybe he's. Oh, he will floodgate it. Okay. And he had a charismatic too. Mm -hmm. Oof, geez, that was close. Robert still has some size. Mm. Like as a blue player, having two energy untapped. You feel pretty happy with that. Oh, he, he's super combo into a super combo. Down the Faded Rivals off that too. Very nice. The question is, is he going to be able to get the whole Faded Rivals yeah, play off oh, next turn? And he's got the Golden just... Core. Yeah, <laughs> Golden Freezer. Oh, my God. It's a bad habit now. What, what's a card? I don't... Gold, go, golden I something. Think, golden something. Top deck the golden Baby Ape? To the Piccolo <laughs> of the Faded Rivals. Well, he can't play the Piccolo unless he has the Goku first, so... Mm. It does look like both of them are Piccolo's, but I think uh, in the start of his hand, he's at the Goku, maybe? So he might already have both? Yeah, he's going to charge one of the Piccolo's. Mm. Going straight into the unison. Mm. Yeah, he's getting rid of the Tapion. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about counters that need um, 
Well, now he, now he can't play um, Trunks because it's on one marker. So he's just making sure that he can get these cards off when he needs to. And he's going to swing with the Fated Rivals, Goku, the Double Strike. He's looking. He sees through. Is that two cards? So he can't untap. He can't untap. But there is a Videl under there that gives him 5k. Hmm. And just super combo. He's not comboing up on the Fated Rivals. Interesting. One that burns it through some of his hands. Hmm. Mm, he's got a Zeno Super Combo. Not that this, uh, I think it's ra is that is that Realm of the Gods Beerus that's tapped in Rob's energy? Mm, so yes, if he's Zeno Super yeah. Combos, it's it's quite a quite a lot of value he gets back from this, and he's got a Videl. Yeah, he's got a Videl in his hand as well. If he wants to negate the next one, too. yeah, it is Realm of the Gods. Yeah. And he's obviously choosing not to untap the beers because he'll probably grab it next next if he needs to. Yeah. Mm. Imagine not going into charge phase and being able to untap all your energy. Mm -hmm. So good. Check on hand size. Mm. Well, he's kind of thinking now, right? What's his What's his ideal plan? He swung with the unison. Mm. He's swung with the Goku. Leader is still available to swing with. Defensively, no. I feel like he has. He does have Golden Freezer in hand if he decided to go for that route again. Mm. And he might feel like he has to. Oh. Did he, get oh. the, did he get the... He got another Goku, I think. Did you not have the Piccolo here? I mean, do you even want to play the Piccolo here? It's still two cards out of your opponent's hand. Yeah, it is. Like he, I, I feel like he, he swings the double strike and... You're against blue. Mm. You get three energy up. Mm. Mm. And do so much. Mm. It's a Piccolo. I'm just going to swing... Not only mm -hmm. what little did he know? This is blue. Well that's he loses nothing. So he's got the piccolo out now. And he obviously knows that he can't you know, he can't play the trunks counterplay because the unison's on one marker. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's now gonna get Rob to discard two cards from hand, most likely swinging twice. Um but the question is What's he going to do before he discards? Is he going to negate? Yeah, he's tapping one. I think he's just going to go for the Videl play here. Yeah, as you do. Mm-hmm. Going to swing with it again. I think Rob is pretty good. Now he's got two energy up. Hmm. It's a tough spot. Is there like five cards in Alan's hand? Or is he just like not fanning them completely out? He doesn't have... Yeah, yeah he does about five, five cards, yeah. He still has four, in, uh, four life, which is not too bad. And he's going to get another Videl from underneath. Interesting, he actually had... He's done the one Videl this turn three, so he could have actually got an untap. He obviously does. Yeah, yeah. He's gonna pass there, leaving two energy open for Alan. Uh, oh, come on now. Yeah, heroic prospect. Obviously, it's a heroic prospect about the trunks. I can't remember what the name of that counterplay is. I haven't seen it in so long, and now obviously everyone's running. It's not heroic prospect. What? What is it actually called? No, it's not. It's, Round, uh, uh, it's reprinted to hell. <laughs> no, no, no. That's the that's the one that counterplay. Mm. That's the counterplay one with the unison that needs two markers on it. I don't know why I'm drawing a blank because like I haven't seen blue play it so much because I can't play it in gamma, obviously, unless it's my own turn. Um, oh, I'm like drawing such a blank, man. Catwoman. 
Yeah, it's an extra card. No, it's a battle card. Sorry, it's a battle card. No, it is a battle card, yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you need a play or...? Yeah, that's right. That's two right. Cost, two cost, yeah. But it's free. Oh, so maybe four, a five? Four cost? Four cost? No, it is it's five. five. It's, it's five. Okay. Five cost blue, yeah. You can't play it in Genoa. Mm -hmm. If you could, that would be stupid. Imagine. Mm-hmm. Is it God Seal or something Realm, like that? Realm. God Sealing? God yeah, God Sealing. I thought so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The counter. Uh, like I said, I haven't, I haven't seen many blue in ages. Oh, speaking of counter. Charismatic. The green version. Okay. You get yours, I'll get mine. I like, I like the green one as well because it obviously gets past Deflect and mm -hmm. so many cards these days have Deflect, right? God Sealing obviously okay. gets past Barrier. Seven, but Mm-hmm. And it gets yeah. to play on the field as well, right? Activate Zamasu if you're actually running Zamasu, mm -hmm. which I don't think we've seen Alan have. I don't think Alan's right. Mm. I don't think he's tapped energy yet, so he's... Mm. Did you run to another jump? Hmm. So he obviously got rid of the fa uh, the the rival uh, Piccolo uh, with the Broly over him because obviously the effect still does go off. Um, feels like that's twice now that Alan has left the rival on the field of the Piccolo, opting not to swing with it the second time. We have seen a lot of players not swing with the dual attack for the second time to make sure they stick on the board or or not allow them to be swung at. Um, but I think in this term, he just didn't want to give advantage, I guess, to the Robert of obviously discarding a card and then possibly being able to take a life and replenishing it anyway. So, Rob tapping two, getting rid of two Z energy, and I think this might be the Beerus. Yeah. That's a good card. Very, very good card. Is he going to clear balance into the He's not swinging with it first. He's just tapping another two to get rid of the barrier mm -hmm. um, card. He does want to risk losing. Understandable. Um, and now he's going to be able to get rid of cards that are equal or higher cost every time he swings. He's got dual attack now. Um, so he's only going to get it. The first swing is going to be 15, even though he's already tapped it and given a double uh, dual attack. And he's going to homicidal. Yeah. I think that should still get rid of the freezer, right? Because the freezer is a five cost. Oops. Is it equal, higher value, or only higher? It must be higher only because the freezer is still sitting on the board. Well, this is obviously going greater to than a setback Alan's board. Divine Deterrent. I mean, he had two energy on tap, right? He played Homicidal, that stopped the first Beerus swing. Then he blocked with the Homicidal, and mm. Beerus costed four just then because he went for the mm. for the tap two. I'm going to give it double uh, dual attack. <sighs> found another, found another Fate of Rivals in hand. That's the Goku, and that's the one that you want to start off with. And he's got Golden Freezer. Amen. This is a few. This is getting to a point where it's getting a little bit spicy. We probably have double shot there. I'll just let Jiren get to declare people. Mm. Let's not go there again. Oh, he put the. He charged it. He's got bigger. He's got bigger plans. I don't need you. Because he's got I've two. Got, I mean, I makes choose. sense. Makes sense. Uh, Does it have unique? I think it's um maybe limit, limit one. Limit yeah. one. Yeah. I think it's limit one. Um, but yeah, look, he gets to get rid of the Beerus. Anything you can do, I can do better. 30k, and he's not he's not negating. 35 double strike. Mm -hmm. He does have a UI Kamehameha in hand. Um, but he gets to untap after he uses that as a combo anyway, so it's kind of free for him. 2k and the leader. <sighs> he had the peel off as well. He didn't use the peel off to, to get rid of double strike. But if he does. He taps out. I think that's what he's going to do. He's going to have to use the out. Mm-hmm. And combo. Mm -hmm. Double strike comes mm -hmm. down. I think Rob's on like six cards in hand. This is the one of the first times that we've seen we've seen him at this low of a life total uh, as a card total in hand. And well, now he's got at least one double stroke charm, but potentially two. Mm. Oh, he's got the um, he's got the Zeno super combo, mm. which has a Beerus ball in there as there well. Yeah. Gonna... Twenty five. He's going to grab that. He's going to put something else back in. There. Oh. The Videl was left untapped, so it's a neg if you grab the Videl because it's already active, but it is a negate. Mm -hmm. So unfortunately... I 
think he's looking at how many super combos he's he's got in total now so he can kind of figure out what his next plan of attack is. So yeah, he's grabbed the Beerus Ball, he's going to be able to draw one now. He's uh, 35, he still needs 5. Going into the pseudo combo. And he's getting rid of the pan underneath to go 37. Oof. He's got the Golden Freezer. Put as much single pressure mm -hmm. as possible. Mm -hmm. So he's just going to swing with lead, go 15. And he's going to try and at least just get a 5k out of his hand. Just because you can double the damage. <gasps> wow. Nope. Down. What did he just grab from life? Is that what is that? No, no, no. The UI Kamehameha is in. Was it the cell? Uh, sorry, was it Gohan? It looked like it was so shiny. Yeah, the third card. We're about to find out. Is Pursuit a combo? Instead of the UI there. If you use the UI, he could have unlocked it. That's. It is the Go. I'm pretty sure it is the Gohan. So he's now got 10. So Alan's got four energy. Taps one for the freezer to neg to neg a card from hand. Neg Absolutely. Card, Hold on. That's it. That's it. That's yeah. Wow. Two. Game two. We are going down to the wire. If 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 he didn't get through with that attack, he taps three for the golden freezer, mm. and then he's going to be able to go again because he's going to be empowering three, and then he's going to neg four to go twice with a thirty k uh, triple strike. Oh. That was his game to lose. Clutch. Ah, man. Holy shit, that's amazing. The cooler? Yeah, yeah the cooler is like a... I mean... Mm. Mm. I mean, hats off. Like, like we've we've said this obviously in the previous streams, Gary. When we obviously casted um, Alan last game, you you said you spoke to him, and you know he brought up Crimson and he said, "I I know what's in this deck and I know what I need to do." And he made a medical choice to go for Cooler. Stand and it. where is he? He's one game away. He he recovered from the first game mm -hmm. like it was not even existent. And after a point where he would have been extremely tilted. Having a judge come to you and saying that you forgot to activate your auto, you lost the game, is something that like would Hard trigger anybody. Back. Anybody. The fact that and you know, very short break, come back and just so have to go run it back like straight away. He's obviously been in this position before. Mm -hmm. Like I said earlier, every game that Alan has played mm -hmm. that we've seen, he's mm -hmm. dropped the first one, mm -hmm. he's won the next two. Mm -hmm. Robert has a chance now, most likely going first. It's going to be at the advantage. Yeah, we are this sitting be literally at 1-1. One, one. We, are, we are one game away from one of these players going to Worlds next year in March. No this pressure. is this is no literally pressure. this is literally what we asked for. Yeah. Let's be let's if, be real here. We 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 wanted this. If you watch the grand final tennis, whatever you're watching, you see a final, you want a tight Oh, final. you want a tight game. There is no there is no clear favourite here. I guess the other thing that um we kinda wanna obviously mention here. I'm still certain that he couldn't combo out. He couldn't combo out from um, the first game. So I think, honestly, if Alan declared the order on the Jiren, I'm pretty sure he takes his 2-0. Yeah, he, obviously he would change things, but... Ah, uh, of course. Of course, yeah. And we have life set up, ready to go. This is... The last game to mm, decide mm. who will be going to the world champion early mm -hmm. next year. Will it be an Australian taking out the Oceana Nationals? Mm -hmm. yeah, it was. I, hope it. I don't think he did. But he did. 
Yeah, I know you said he did, but he had he showed two Golden Avenger apes and he only and, and a Beerus ball and he only had two energy untapped. So he wouldn't be able to play all three ten Ks. Doesn't matter anyway. Um we're, we're, we're way three. past that. We're we're gonna yeah, we're going to game three and we're gonna see what obviously happens. And it's it's a stock standard cookie cutter play, this right? Charge one, play the pan, draw a card, and pass it pass it to your opponent. Robert's had a chance to see exactly what Cooler does. Seen it for multiple games now. Mm -hmm. Alan Probably a little bit in the advantage in terms of knowing what mm -hmm. Robert's done. Mm -hmm. Going for a single play, is he going to go for the negate? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Piccolo is actually already in the drop as well, which is quite interesting this, this here. Is almost a direct mirror of what happened. Yeah. Yes, you said it yourself. He loses game one and then he just comes back game two and game three and takes it all. And if he can do it here, this is going to be like. Probably, I wouldn't even call it like one of the biggest upsets, but it's going to be a it's going to be a story. It's going to be an absolute monster story. But yeah, of course, Crimson being able to like take that first turn mm -hmm. is so crucial to him. Um, if as long as he sees the cards that he needs to see, but it cycles so much that you're almost always going to see it, right? Mm -hmm. This is the risk of doing the negate. Mm, he swung and... with a pen last time, got rid of it. But it's almost like a, a bait. Like, I don't care about this. Mm, and there you go. He's just going to tap two for the piccolo. Mm -hmm. um, the unison is obviously on one marker here. He's going to play the pen. He's not going to give a barrier. And this is where the pressure's going to start. This is where it's going to start because now he can just swing twice with the mm -hmm. with piccolo, get rid of the unison. This um, is where that advantage of going first really changes things. Yeah. If. And we'll play that unison on turn one. Mm -hmm. Upticked it. Has charismatic. Yeah. Um, if he has charismatic, yeah. yeah, and he's probably decided not to. Um, he's about to take at least two damage. Well, the thing is that unison can, like, Pan can still swing into that unison and do damage, right? Mm. So. Robert's setting himself up really well. Um, Probably his optimal return as he could possibly do. Mm. I was wondering like about go down as quickly as I possible. Can't, I can't blame him. Like, you know, mm. both players now, well, I mean, obviously Alan has versed a lot of Crimson, but now Rob has the understanding of like what he's looking at, right? He's played two games against it now. Mm. He knows what spot Alan wants to get into, and he's going to make sure that he kind of doesn't get into that spot himself. So, <clears throat> obviously draw dependent. But you look at so many cards and you draw so much as a as a Crimson player, you're probably going to see what you need to see to make sure that you can get this win. Something that I've noticed when we've been watching these Crimsons, the clutch is getting that secret rare. If you can pull that... It's we saw Cell Max only. We haven't seen... Um, I'm, I'm sure Ritzy is playing the, the so, Gohan. Yeah, last round um, is when we saw the Gohan versus the um, Cell Max. Mm. Mm. Oh, he hasn't been able to dig it out yet. I haven't seen him. I haven't seen him pull it out or even... I thought it was in his hand last game mm. when he got it, but I could, I could obviously be wrong. Might have been too late. But, okay, he's, he's going to do the whole... Yep, bring the freezer. He's going to be able to pop it. He's going to be able to... Going down ooh, to four. Ooh, wow. Got That's rid of the Videl from hand. Going to be but then putting it underneath your leader is obviously super strong. Mm. If you lose a card to save it, go down to three. Yeah, well, the pan's already on board, and now he's got three Saiyans in the drop. Thank you, sir. May I have another? Mm. Yeah. That trunk's calamity saw such a spike. As soon as this tech became popular, Everyone was rushing in. Mm. It's almost like no one actually kept it. Everyone just cut it in half and threw it in the bin. I mean, life of a card collector, right? Mm. Pull the pull the pull the card that no one wants. That's in the game. Mm. And power of yep. spinning game. Yep. So bring it up to five markers. Because it's got in power three, right? And that freezer unison was already on like four or five markers, I think. Basically, he's going to take two for Doesn't matter. He's going to get the three. Doesn't matter how many markers he's on. Oh wait, no, he's going for the draw. <gasps> he's built out his Cessia. 
He's milled out his Gohan SCR. We've finally seen the SCR. Oh, that actually yeah, that actually gave me goosebumps. And you know what the messed up thing is? He didn't need to mill three. He's already got three cards wow. in Alan's um, drop. And all he needed to do was, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. He didn't even need to mill any, but he wanted Saiyans. Oh, he got the Saiyan. Oh, yeah. Just not the one that you wanted to see. Absolutely. That's what we call a $500 Saiyan in the drop. Is that what we're calling it? Oh, that's what we're calling it, baby. I think I found a thumbnail. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. I mean, if you're Alan right now, surely you're jumping inside. You know that you're not going to see the Gohan SCR. You don't have to play around it. That's the thing. He can't get too ahead of himself. No, 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 no. no. But that's a win, mate. Huge, huge. It's like when you remember the Vegex days when you would see them like mill their uh, super combos and stuff. You were just like, "Thanks, I'll brother." Pinch myself. I've been <laughs> dreaming. Uh, hmm. And coming down for the draw. Mm. Yeah, the trans. Yeah. Bottom deck of the hand mm -hmm. gives him the option to play it. Mm -hmm. I see tech. But he's going to go for the charismatic. Gets rid of the trunks. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. So Robert opting for like a very early awaken. We trunks? say early, but a double shot. I believe it was. Yeah. So um, he got the sort of a jewel attack. Yeah, and I think the double strike is probably more annoying. But Robert is sitting comfortably on eight life here. Mm -hmm. He's he's awakened now. Um, he's kind of where he wants to be, even though you've milled the SCR, right? So when you remove the trunks, you get a tape here. Mm. Oh. Mm. I wanted to give Robert something uh, to play so he can swing into it. Yeah, the trunks is going to add the tabby onto the hand. Mm. Um, Need the threat of the double strike. But because it was an auto, yeah, he gets to grab the unison as well from the trunks, even though like the trunks is obviously not on board do anymore. Prefer the verse. Do you Further hit the double strike or the dual attack? What's more what strike? I think the pickle on. Because when you put your unison on the board, you can maybe negate one attack, but negating two attacks, mm -hmm. that's the feels bad. Yeah. So look back to Bardo, mm -hmm. Overrealm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Stable. Mm -hmm. And you know, we look at we look at round we look at game number two and Robert was able to get Tapion off twice, get mm -hmm. it to five markers twice, and Alan identified that that was going to be a problem for him, and he got rid of it twice. Even though a couple swings went into it, he got the Gohan off X Y Z. Like he, he knew what his objective was, and Alan is on uh, four life versus eight. While we have this going on, we also have the third place versus fourth playoff uh, happening. Uh, they've just gone fine. Uh, we'll get you an update on who has placed third uh, as soon as we mm -hmm. and he's coming for the that golden freezer or cooler? Uh, I'm just going to call it golden. Oh, the golden boy. Golden circle. Mm. Um, can I just also remind you and everyone that's watching today, uh, he may have milled an SCR, but we saw a Crimson player burn a life and an energy because they untapped against Vegeta one drop and still managed to win 2-0. Was that once or twice? I believe it was twice, sir. Yeah. So let's not get too ahead of ourselves with the SCR mill, right? Crimson is insane. I mean, Alan is versing someone that knows the deck inside and out more than probably any other Australian that played that today because Robert got to take it to Nats last week, had immense practice with it beforehand, mm -hmm. and then got to play it again a week later, whereas all the Australians that saw the Nats stream mm -hmm. started can. building it and then started I figuring it out that, yeah, absolutely. So he is versing probably the most experienced Crimson player at this tournament. Right off over him. Earlier as well, when he got the draw, he draw into the Gohan. Mm. We know Tapion will most likely come next turn. Yep. That's going to go very quickly. And there's the Unbreakable. <laughs> and 
then going for the dual triple strike. I mean, we probably shouldn't forget actually. Now that I now that I make that comment, Marcus was also here. That came second at Nats. Oh, with yeah. okay, let's let's take that comment back. <laughs> Someone that has more experience than all other Australians. I think I said Australians anyway. So I'm going to cover mm. my tracks and say that it was Australians. But yeah, Marcus obviously was here today. Unfortunately, lost in the top 16 to Alan. It was might we add? Alan. It was Alan. Mm. So Alan, the the Slayer. <laughs> Hopefully, the Crimson Slayer. The Crimson Slayer. That's oh, a, that's a good name. Wow, that is. is a good name. He better have that as his nickname if he goes to Worlds. Yeah. We're gonna get that on the shirt. Oh, oh yeah. Never mind, I've just been informed uh, Robert was actually playing SS4 <laughs> Gogeta oh. at last week, Nats. Oh, he so he's, he's still been exposed. He's still, he's still been exposed to it more than Australians. Look, uh, in, I'm going to stop talking. In our defence, <laughs> we were not at the US Nats. That is true. Uh, in my defence, I was not uh, following what Robert was playing one week ago. Um, but maybe, maybe he's still, he has still been exposed to this deck more than any other Australian. Actually, yeah. Um... Been around the tracks for quite a while, done really well. His collection, uh, you've probably seen it if you have been watching our channel, he's actually got a massive collection, uh, a lot of giant leader cards, mm -hmm. a lot of medals. Mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't mind some of them myself. Uh, <laughs> open to donation. So as you were saying that, I actually started counting Robert's hand, and he's at 11. 11 with 6 life, and he hasn't activated his leader ability yet to take cards. Very, from very name. healthy spot. The, the, the combo. Pretty sure, uh, yeah, I mean, we speak about Crimson, right? And there was 8 out of 16 Crimsons in the top 16, and mm -hmm. obviously two of them were obviously Robbie and Marcus. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people picked it up as soon as they saw it. A lot of people wanted to pick it up and... Yeah. You can see why. We can see why. I think we've had every every stream today has been a Crimson player at least. I'm pretty sure. I don't think we've had a chance to not cast Crimson, which is no, fine. There's been so many. Um, it's, it's hard to miss. It is hard to miss. And yeah, Alan's finally going to pass his turn. He's got one energy open. He's going to restand the, the Golden Freezer. Um, and... I feel like, and we've said this obviously multiple times, when the Crimson player gets to four energy, this is where he wants to be. This is his like ideal Optical setup. Yeah. Tapion, because he's got another tapion. one. <sighs> I, I, it's it's funny like i came into nats yesterday thinking to myself man i i, I don't want to see red i don't want to see red and now that i've seen so much crimson i'm like yeah, i don't, don't want to see, see crimson i don't want to see crimson you, you are still seeing red hmm? you are still seeing red just crimson we asked nice <laughs> nice <laughs> the amount of pressure that bad. crimson actually puts on is kind of like it feels like a little bit of a red kind of thing right we're getting a lot more of these decks that are feeling like other colors. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, Gamma gets to put on a lot of pressure and that feels like a lot aggressive, uh, almost, like very it's aggressive. It's almost like a red. multi -color. It's almost mm -hmm. a red blue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Paying two for the black smoke here, and he's opting to draw because obviously he can't get rid of the golden freezer. Um, but that taps him out. Uh, he's still got still, the leader ability, of course, and he's obviously got uh, enough in his in his drop to do sparking if he wants to. Size is going to be clutch. The only thing that will go against him is if he doesn't have a, a beam. We know he on D magic. Nine cards in the world's hand as well. So Alan looks like gonna, he has a double digits. He's going to 
One thing magic, I'm getting three energy by the time he's loading. Hmm. I don't know if he has any UI. Um, but yeah, I did see. I don't think I saw a UI in there, and this is where. Okay, combo power. Hmm. Gonna swing with lead. He's mm -hmm. going to draw. Alan really likes to get. <sighs> That's a nice draw. Mm. That's a nice draw. He found the rivals. Found the faded rivals from that. Yeah. He's gonna. He's swinging. He's gonna combo. So, so that brings him down to four, and then he's gonna tap one to bring it down to one. The guys got dizzy going around trying to find its number one, but he got there. The good thing here is again he gets rid of the um, god ceiling. Yeah, first swing, 20k, beauty. He knows you've got to get rid of it. Absolutely. And when you have, like, when you're playing green and it's easy for you to remove markers with one energy. Now, does he use the rest of his turn? He's playing the Goku. Did he? Oh, yeah, tap one for the... Hmm... To swim. I'm a little bit interested in how come he didn't swing with the golden freezer first to bring him to five to make super combos mm -hmm. kind of like non non factor and yeah. then go for the double strike. Yeah, I think. and that's what that's what Robert's thinking now yeah. too. He's like, maybe uh, I'll go down to four. Well, but yeah, you know, could potentially put one more. On. Mm, I don't think he he probably won't swing with the golden freezer now. I don't think. Oh. I mean, you still want him to use the super combo here. Yeah, he's either going to remove the cap or he's going to go down to four. Mm. I don't think the difference of this game is going to be one by one card in here. Mm. So, reason to tap that, he's got the piccolo. <laughs> Is this the play? Is this the play? He has to have a dormant here. He has to have a dormant in his hand. This card's one. Mm -hmm. yeah, he's going 25. And here it comes. Mm -hmm. Hello, there's that. Hello, Salis. Uh, Gohan is here. I can't talk about characters today. I apparently don't know what's what. Um, Mm hmm And then he's just gonna go fa he's just gonna go rivals again and then nah, discard another card. Why wouldn't you? Because every single time he hasn't he's lost it. Mm. Why not why not get maximum? Mm. Mm. <laughs> I'm just not sure about this whole tap out. Probably feels comfortable with the unison. I haven't seen has he has he got dominant? I don't know. I, do, I, I haven't seen it. I haven't been, I haven't been focused on it, but would you actually tap out if you didn't have dormant? I mean, it was only one energy anyway, right? And he's not running any one cost negates except for the unison. But you don't want to play that unison if you've got golden freeze already on the board. Ideally, he's got dormant, dormant block mm -hmm. on the side. Yeah, that's that's you just save yourself a whole Flash. turn. No, I don't think it's in his hand. From that fan out, I don't think I've seen it, and he's not charged one either. It's really surprising that the way this game's been out. It's really been a fear of the. Mm, it's and, control the board, control the game. And it's really understandable because if you go for game and you don't have enough to push, mm. look at what you're going up against. There's going to be more of that coming, more discard. So he so can't he actually. Looks like he's he's just going to. Mm -hmm. And it goes back to that. On the board. Mm -hmm. Like being able to play the rose mm -hmm. uh, on your turn, even though it's not going to bounce anything because there's no four or less on the field, it's still a double strike that you've got to deal with next Absolutely. turn. Absolutely. And move, yeah. Remove the unison. Help with the. Mm. One. One dormant. Mm. Two dominants. Really? I think he's got. I, yeah. I haven't seen it. I, I hope you're right because. Fucking the impact. That's kind of. That's kind of not bad here, right?
Ditching the pick. Hmm. It's a threat. No longer there. I mean, so you've now got him to take a life. He's untapped two, and he's got rid of a negate, and uh, he lost a piccolo. This is where that. Still has one more swing with the golden freezer if he wants to. Um. He doesn't want to. And now we're going to find out what negates he's actually holding in his hand if he does have any. This is where we're about to get very, very interesting. Too much to It depends how much uh, Robert does with his five energy, right? So whether he focuses on does he take all that life, does he focus on clearing the board? I think he's going to focus on clearing the board. I think he'll play Abiris to the two tap two. So what I would what, what I would do here, which if uh, oh, oh, oh. Uh, I was thinking you, you tap two for the Beerus. Nope, he's going five, and I think he's going to play the Vegeta. I think you play the Beerus here. Um, you swing once, you get rid of the Fated Rival that doesn't have the barrier. Then you tap two again to get rid of the other Fated Rival. Then you swing twice more. You get 5k, you start putting some pressure onto the... You can you can take two markers off the unison. So you, you... The problem is, if he blocks it, he loses three markers from his unison. Or does he homicidal? I think you have to homicidal here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, absolutely. I didn't see the... Mm, mm, mm. What is he from there? Well, he's going to stop the Goku Black because he's going to swing into the unison. Into the negate, tapped out. Won't be able to. Mm. And you'll think. Much as you'll think it's safe for the go through double strike. Mm -hmm. Yep. You don't have to block. But you will, actually, you'll let this one go through. Yeah. To block. Yeah. The Goku. Well. Oh, he's got the two blocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's going to make sure that he uses the unison because then now Rob has to actually combo a card. This is the optimal play because mm -hmm. now he's going to lose a marker, sure. Mm -hmm. um, but then if he wants to swing with the Goku Black. Did you just do hand destruction in your opponent's turn? Yeah. Yeah, this is actually very well done from Alan. Um, but I don't know about keeping one energy up as, as Robert. I know you've got a... He's got the Vegito to... Oh, nice. Oh, no, so he gets rid of the other faded rival. Get rid of the token. Oh, the token. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, wow, this actually... Ooh. This is going to come. I'm guessing he's going to go into unison. Does have dawn in hand. I don't know. It's not going to negate the attack, it's right? Too late. It's not going to it's negate the attack. Late. I don't think you use did it here. It, it didn't look like he did, to be honest with you. I'm not sure. The homicidal got it from life, maybe. Um, oh, I thought he got the um, token, the um, unison. Okay. Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, actually, he must be going lead up because you don't need a combo onto the to double strike the freezer. So yeah, we're looking at 30, 35, 35 double. I'm guessing this is going into lead because you wouldn't be comboing onto the unison no. Um, no. to get rid of it. So I mean, This is to put pressure. He has to outcombo. If he takes the two and then he's at critical range for the whole time. Hello, super there we combo. go, super combo one. And this is where if you don't... Deal with the board state. Mm -hmm. The cutback can be real. Mm -hmm. I feel like he actually had to push through. I think that was his best option. Alan or Robert? Uh, for Robert. Mm. I think He's he putting had, on some good pressure here. Don't get me wrong. Oh, oh clutch. clutch! Unreal super combo. Yep. So there's the thirty. He'll be smiling off those top. Oh, legs. you're laughing. So just one super combo. He gets you out of that double strike swing, and it keeps his unison on board.
So here's where it's going to get super interesting now. Yep. So now Alan is in commanding position to take this, right? I feel like, and I could be wrong here because obviously I'm not in top cut, but I feel like Beerus was the much better play here rather than the Vegeta. Move the board. If I'm Robert, I'm spreading it now. Yeah, absolutely. Hand size is down. Absolutely. Absolutely. He's still on three life. When he passes, the Vegeta is going to restand. He has to clear the ball with his bro. He's going to try and go for the Goku because it's got barrier. And then at the end of the turn, the Vegeta is going to bounce the Goku. Uh, sorry, the Piccolo. So if this if this Broly can get rid of the Piccolo, uh, sorry, the Goku, he's reset the board. Rob's happy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah, he's going for it. Hmm. Oh, Brunegate. Just a 5k combo though. Yeah. And that was 30 into 30, right? And that's it. Rob's passing. So he's going to put the Piccolo to the bottom of the deck. He loses one from hand. Mm hmm. Which is Dolman. He put the Dolman back because he doesn't need it for his attack. He's going for game this turn. He can't not. How do you get rid of the Vegito blocker? That is what your key to winning is right here. Mean. Mm -hmm. Charging. Yeah, the freezer units and that discards. Tapping two. Smoke. Nice. Ah, it still gets through barrier. Yep. Wow. Oh, we have a we have a game on our hands. So Rob has seven cards in hand. He yeah, does yeah. have the Zeno Super Combo, yeah. and I have seen a D-Mag. That's going to give him two energy, three energy. He can't spark him. Yeah, also has a Sensu Beam. Oh, he doesn't have the cards underneath his leader to be able to untap either. Uh, he is... This is going to be... Oh, man. Go hard? Or go hard? Yeah. We are literally minutes away from seeing who will be crowned. Oh, yep. The champion. champion of Australia going to Worlds. He's swung first time with, with Freezer. Drawn into the pseudo combo. Yep. He's now he's now in he's now in the territory. He's got two he's got two energy he's got two life left. Mm -hmm. Thing is You D match, you lose D match, and then you've also got discount one. If he, bad. Yeah. But also what choice do you have? Mm hmm. We'll do make yeah. He has to. Then he goes another double. He doesn't have another negate. And now this is where Alan's kind of looking at his hand. He's like, how much do I, how much do I dump into this? Mm -hmm. And you got to be careful because you can't really like. You cannot overcome. He said no combos. At twenty-five, it all depends on what comes out of this. Yeah. Oh, Fidel the gate. What is going on with these super combo draws, dude? I mean, that was a Pseudo super combo, but come on. You can get him in single strike range. I think he's got another golden freezer in hand. Empowers, goes for game. He has to play, he plays the Fidel here, right? Or is he just thinking that he doesn't need to worry about it? He needs to lose at least one card from hand. Oh my. He's got a UI. May may as well, it looks like. I think Robert has enough, I think, to almost out-combo most of these attacks. I have to think very carefully about what he... Oh, man. I think he has enough. To Alan, I think, oh, I think Robert has enough to survive all he, of his he, attacks. He, he, he definitely looks pretty stack. fine here. Oh man, this is quite gross. So, for those that actually don't know, last year Alan's brother David to get into worlds top decked 
from his life, the, uh, the SS3 Gogeta thwarting the Dark Empire to win the game. They he played that, and he was able to do a double strike onto Tyson to get him into Worlds. Correct. And now we're seeing the most clutch draws of all time for both players to get them into Worlds. Feels like a dice roll. <sighs> Honestly, I've never seen so much RNG. Oh. Unfortunately, he's only got two energy up, so he can't actually play that. Oh, does he? He has to read. Never mind. Oh, yeah. This is getting very, very spicy. I don't think he has enough to, to push through. If he taps out here, if he taps out here, he's 100% dead on his next turn. I think his energy is dead next turn anyway. I don't see what he can do with the three. I feel like he has to go hard or go home. Yeah, he's going to do the three, and then he's going to empower. Yeah, at least a plus here. He's removed. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, he's got to negate. He's got to negate. Unfortunately, I think Rob just wins here, unfortunately. Mm. He's going to be able to Videl the first swing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mill one. He's gonna swing again. And, and that and is that's a confident man again. Mm -mm, mm -mm. He's got the super combo that he's gonna be able to grab something back. He's also got a UI Kamehameha in his hand. So 30, 35, he's yeah, he's dumping hand forty five triple. Oh, UI's gonna that's be so unlucky, dude. 45. It's 45, but the then the UI, combo. yeah, it's done, and unfortunately. He's there, and he's got the Videl. He has no choice, though. He has nothing on his defense. Like, we're going to see. Uh, I mean, we don't know until we have combos. But. I mean, it's, it looks like. It looks. Unless. Robert, unless. Yeah, unless uh, Alan can pull something amazing from his uh, life, which I don't think there's even anything that's going to save him, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Oh, Beerus Ball too. <sighs> just draw one, man. Yeah. That's now 45. He just needs he just needs 5k. He can just literally combo the Vidal and it's done. Mm -hmm. He can take his pick for what he wants for next turn. He's just putting it back. And then tap one with more. Oh, for the my pressure. goodness. Maximize his use I don't think energy. he can actually play the Goku Black because I can't see any Z, Z energy. Uh, there's, there's, there's no Z energy. It's over uh, just off camera, uh, I believe. I thought that was like his sleeves upside down. Mm -hmm. Wow, I don't think that matters anyway. Like, I think he actually gets out of that. But it's literally one leader swing and uh, a double strike away. Unfortunately, it doesn't. You like, don't even need to charge. <laughs> you, you, you can't even. Oh, there you go. Yeah, he had he had four cards in his Z. So yeah, they weren't sleeves. Yeah, he's just gonna get Beerus. Yeah, GG's. Yep. Yeah, man, that's super unlucky. Did you just swing into unison? Yep. Maybe just in case you get something. What, a charismatic off the, yeah. off the life? Yeah, I, I think this is uh, just doing stuff for the sake of doing stuff. No, we don't. Three, two or three. Yeah, mm -hmm. I guess. And blocker is gone. But he will get the draw off of um, the unison being removed. Mm. But <sighs> the Beerus will come in with a swing. 
Going up to 20k. Such a shame, man. He he made a meta call. It got him to second. Mm. Obviously, every every the only um, thing that saves him is if he had a super comp. I mean, the only thing that can save him right now is literally if he gets a homicidal. I don't even know if that'll save him. Potentially. Oh, they still got three tank. Yeah, and like three energy. He can literally play another beers if he wanted to. Mm. Yeah, oh man. Well, congratulations to Robert. Yeah. He played He played a good game, man. Both of them played a very, very good game. Yeah, he pulled a super combo from the UI as well. Like, come on. Wow. Oh man! Oh, and he just pulled another super combo off the. Of course he did. Wow! This uh, this couldn't put more insult to injury. Yeah, man, it's it's quite. You, um, you don't need to go this big. It's no. okay. You've got it. Yeah, we get it. We get it, dude. It's it's one of the yeah. Oh no! There was a dormant in his last two lives, dude. That's it. Well. We representing OCE Nats, Robert Rizzi, an American. <laughs> Congratulations to him, though. He's uh, like he said, he's, he has played hard all weekend yeah. to get up, and he's he paid the to money to come down. He yeah. paid the money to come down, and I, for him to get another chance at the what, title. And you know what? If you are game up. enough, if you are game enough to come down and spend that much money on a respect. flight in the same week to to come and try your luck, absolute respect to players that that do that. You know. Very unfortunate that obviously it turns into very unfortunate to you know obviously bring that with him and and go from there. But um, yeah, shout out to obviously Alan. He he played a he played an amazing game, um, and obviously Robert played a, a great final as well. And congratulations to him. Uh, that's uh, that's going to be it from us guys. Um, again, congratulations to both players. Mm. We are. Yeah, it was a an amazing. It was an amazing top sixteen to watch. All in all, it um, was. Uh, very, that was very hard games. fought. Uh, very hard fought game for Allen. Man, he he came with the green meta call. He he mm -hmm. did what he could. He he took it to the last moment, man. And unfortunately, he just came short. So, wow. Hopefully, uh, you guys have all enjoyed the stream. Yeah. Uh, and thank you for seeing on. We've had so many people jump on today. It's yeah. It's been fantastic. So we um, appreciate that. Everyone in the chat, everyone who stuck around all day. We, we cracked over 200 viewers today, which was huge. absolutely amazing for um, for Australian scene. And hopefully, you guys enjoyed the commentary. And mm. it's a shame that, you know, we had internet issues yesterday. And we honestly, we tried our best to do whatever we could with the, with the tools that we had available. Mm-hmm. Um, so thank you guys for all the support for everything that you've done. Um, you know, we kind of had to make this all up ourselves and do everything that we could. So mm. we hope you enjoyed. And if you want to see the content, we will obviously put it all up with the VODs and commentary mm. on our uh, YouTube channel in the next week or two. But um, yeah, we appreciate everyone that's joined in and um, that's, joined, yeah, that's, that's been with us for this journey, right? And the people that mm. have been with us from the very beginning. But um, wherever it is in the world late night early morning mid-afternoon like it's 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 been a pleasure Absolutely. hopefully you guys enjoyed our commentary and until then guys take care and and thank you so much again and enjoy the rest of the day or the night whatever it may be take care cheers guys